This is White Married Men. Get it at otfi.com slash married. We will not say one word about this because we are oh, okay. white married men. Well, a woman. Yeah, right. and why do they have women with them there? White married men. Hello. You think, how will this look five years from now out of context related to some future thing that's going to happen? And that's another lesson to hear from white married men. Hello. Is it a warm jet of water shooting in your pooper and just making sure everything's all clear? No. I had to look it up on Urban Dictionary to find out what he was saying to me. He's like, hey, look. What kids say on Urban Dictionary, white married man. Hello, white married man. Look at up responses from YouTubers on Urban Dictionary to find out if he's okay. Oh, 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 hot damn y'all motherfuckers, you know what time it is. It's Tuesday night, and that means it's time for us to set fire to the internet because we're miscreants. Uh, except for we're totally not. We're a wonderful, wholesome group of individuals. Hello, you beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, by my BFF in OAK. It's J-R-Y, Justin Robert Young. How you doing, buddy? Oh. Brian, you know, I've been I've been better. I've been better. I'm, 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 I'm sick now. I agree. People should subscribe at patreon.com slash night attack so they can get that pre-show that we just did. Uh, yeah, no, we did, we did, uh, we did a hell of a pre-show, man. No, was... actually, uh, I'm, I'm on your same page. Um, I was sick as well, but I was able to delude myself into thinking that it was allergies until <laughs> this or last night, shortly before I went to bed. Bonnie just like texted me out of nowhere saying like, by the way, it's not allergies. You're sick and Callie has it too. And then somehow... Like, that's a voodoo curse, right? The moment you hear those words, you're definitely sick. It's not allergies. You're going to die alone. Also, I regret being married to you for 18 years. 19 years. I, however many years we've been married, the voice says. Yeah. Um, you're talking to your wife, right? Like, not to me, because you're never no, no, no. looking at my monitor. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I mean, the voice says these things. I the mean, voice I don't know. Says that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. why the voice says whatever it says, but then it also God, goes yeah, on, no. and it's just like you think you're all that, but you're not. I'm, I'm the voice in your head. I'm all that you got. Uh, yeah. I kind of like that Metallica song. Die alone. Inner Sandman. Yeah, I mean that that was kind of where I was going for, but anyway. Yeah. So, uh, do do you forget to include anyone? <laughs> also, Justin is miserable too. That's what the voice says because you're oh. both sick, and this much is true. Uh, I I know you don't believe me, but I believe in you. I'm the voice sure. in your head from that Metallica song. Uh, uh, so wait, so you how long how long were you trying to lie to yourself? Because I've definitely been been trying to to lie to myself for a while. For three days it's been three days and and in fact um today was around four o'clock today was when uh i i woke up from taking a nap and i'm like you know what i think i'm okay and then i was just golly golly yeah. i was golly i was golly and jolly and giggly giddy is maybe giddy though nope I giddy was golly. another one yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, not, you're not giddy. a real dad no. bryce and also i was golly not giddy <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, uh, so you're feeling a little better or? Oh no, much better. How about you? Uh, awful. Terrible. I feel uh, b bad. Yeah. yeah. Bad. So you're super yeah, sick. Yeah, no, it's bad. I, I mean, like, it's just, I, I'm trying to, I was trying to pride myself on beating this flu. Everybody else was sick with the flu and they're, they're peeing out their butt and they're just like doing gross stuff and everything. And I thought I was just, uh, just like through the, the, uh, uh, apocalypse. I was just on my, on my, on my Suzuki motorbike, just zipping through the wreckage and then next thing you know you know i just uh i was feeling sick on the way i went to florida for a bachelor party and i was like all right feeling sick can't do it this weekend my body's like cool well see you on monday and then i started feeling sick and i'm like what the fuck dude and he's like 
struck midnight, Cinderella. <laughs> now you're fucking spotting so hard, you're annoying the lady next to you because everybody knows that this death flu is going around. So I'm like on this flight back home and I'm like just emptying every mucus element of my entire face. Okay, so, so like, t- t- tell me this much because this was a new one for me. Like I always assume – that it's like allergies will take you so far. Allergies and colds, very, very similar. But yeah. I've never had a cold where I was weeping uncontrollably. Is this is this a, a, a thing you've experienced? Like we, weeping, like you're like you're crying for the state of the universe, or or that you're like for everything. I'm I'm crying for the the tragedy of this temporary condition we call life. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I, wait, so I, I oftentimes allergy wise have a lot of snot, but, but I know when it's, when it's like a sick thing. Like I know when it's not just me having I, like, I, I guess to, to, to put it clearly, like, I don't remember having a sick thing where just, you know, my eyes were a faucet that was just leaking constantly until this go around. Oh, wait, oh, no, I've never had. Either a flu or an allergic reaction where my eyes were watering constantly. See, I mean, unless it was like cutting onions or something like that. So this is this is the discomforting part is the possibility that while I was lying to myself saying it was allergies the entire time, what if yeah. I was sick, comma, and also colon allergies, which is the name yeah. of my new movie, sick, comma, and also colon allergies. Comma the movie, uh, uh, like n- now that I feel better from the sickness. Who, wait, who do you who who are you picturing? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Come on, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Okay, and, and okay. Uh, the opening scene is Matt Damon yeah. has his phone out. He's DMing okay. Brandon Boyd, lead singer of Incubus, Jesus, asking. You're the worst. <laughs> You've had a whole thing about this. <laughs> and then, and then uh, Brandon Boyd says, new phone, who dis? And, yeah. then, and Matt David sets it down, looks to the camera, and then his w- eyes shoot two jets of water towards the camera because also it's in 3D. Uh, oh, just sh- yeah, well, that, that's, that's what that's what all the kids love, right? So, so all right, so uh, uh, he's shooting all the the water to the camera. Is, is that your title card, or or does somebody come in and have a one liner and they punch out with a joke? Well, okay, so so he's shooting water towards the audience, and then uh, the screen goes black, and it says the words "Black Mirror," but then it pans back, and it's Matt Damon watching an episode of Black Mirror, uh, and. <laughs> Also in, a, in a different outfit. Right? Correct, cor- correct. Crying, and he, he dabs his eyes, and he's just like, I don't know, d- too much. <laughs> and then credits and then it's roll. The title card, or <laughs> I don't know that there's ever a title card for the uh, movie. I mean, most movies think... have a part where the where they show like that. Oh, here's what movie it is. That's normally a convention. <laughs> this is how we break. Even <laughs> Avengers puts it at the end just to have it. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Not nope. in this case. This is all we get. <laughs> so it's so, so just get. Matt Damon, and he just says, ah, too much. And that's so it's more of a short film. Or are we going to stretch this out for a full hour and a half? <laughs> no, it's only five minutes long. It's going to be debut at Tribeca. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, well, there we go. I mean, a tour de force. I feel like we can lock this down by hitting up Damon on DMs. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Um man, this has been a weird week. Uh you, you Yeah man, what's what's going on? I, I I feel like we talked a lot about this on um uh on the Weird Things podcast. Um I don't know how much of what's going on I could really share. Uh I I, I made a gigantic uh, bet, like financial uh-huh. bet. Uh we'll see how that pans out on Friday. We initiated. What's what, 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 what's the what's the bet? I mean, that's not for me to say. Let me leave it to uh, unrelatedly uh, a guy who got fired from Crack.com named John Cheese, who recently tweeted out, "Dear humans." Also, you are totally cool to like be the guy. I don't know this. what you're talking about. That's not that's not for me to say. Right. Uh, John Cheese though tweeted out, "Dear humans." So my big project first. Go to themodernrogue.com. Notice how they don't have any articles there. Check again this Friday. In the meantime, catch up with the show here. YouTube.com slash modernrogue. Love, John Cheese. 
editor in chief of yeah, what? That that would be that would be the key element is that he gave himself a a, a title at the end uh, after saying that his big project is the modern rogue dot com. I mean, if I were one to be. Uh, you know, in in journalism, like knowing what those mean, uh, those titles mean, I would be led to believe that John Cheese, formerly of Crack.com, is the new editor in chief of a new uh, vertical for the modern rogue that is articles like John Cheese has written for Crack.com. Yeah, but the, here's the problem, though, is like Crack.com is an award winning, super popular, multiple millions of people reading all their articles website. And me, I'm a guy who shoves tubes up his nose and DMs Brandon Boyd, lead singer of Incubus. <laughs> there's Lots no way. Jokes. There's no way that I could that I could reach out and get this kind of guy, this kind of talent. So maybe. <clears throat> It's all a shenanigan, or uh, I don't know, maybe we're adding a uh, columns section to the Modern Rogue, and we hope that everybody shows up uh, to enjoy what I always enjoyed out of Crack.com, which is super, uh, really, really, really smart columns from talented individual writers that were able to make stuff funny and interesting at the same time. Uh, so if people wanted to make sure that they were supporting the brand new Modern Rogue expansion, uh, how would they best do that? Follow the Twitter? Show up Friday. That's what I would say. And, and I mean, share I it. I assume, though, is that the Twitter would be p p posting out a link so they would know exactly when things went live Friday, right? I guess. That would be at Modern Rogue Show on Twitter. There you go. This guy gets it. Yeah. I think that's it on Instagram as well. Yeah. So, like, why don't you? That's something you can do today, audience, instead of uh, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. A nothing. call to action. <laughs> uh, you know, aside from set a calendar alert for Friday <laughs> that says go to the modern rogue dot com, uh, 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 maybe they can, they can go follow the social media because listen, you guys are doing a bunch of amazing stuff over there. Uh, hey, Justin, I don't know if you know this, but I'm not very good at promotion. It's it's very difficult for me to simultaneously take a giant gamble and also promote it loudly. So I'm glad you said all the things that you said. Uh, uh, cool. So uh, how are how are you? Uh, are you so you're feeling like nervous about it? Like, like give us uh, bring us into your head. Little bit little bit i mean i mean okay keep in mind like i have been a fan of crack.com for like uh, uh basically since their inception um uh, in fact i'm gonna go all the way back to like i was a fan of cracked the magazine before uh they were a website back when they were a a, a second rate competitor to mad magazine at the cracked time. subscriber right here as a child i was i was a subscriber to cracked magazine i loved cracked more than mad I was always, uh, always a a, a cracked a crackedman myself. A crackedman. Uh, so, yeah. uh, uh, did you ever cosplay as the the cracked uh, janitor kid? Uh, I did not. I guess the, <laughs> I guess you found the limit to my fandom for crack.com immediately on your first test. Uh, uh, no, I did not. I I, I just busted the straight and it with cold my busted <laughs> like a fucking idiot. But uh, if you haven't heard, they like shit canned like 20 people on their team and uh, John Cheese among them. John Cheese is the titular John from John Dies at the End, which is a David Wong, a, a New York Times bestselling novel. Uh, and um, I, I, I flew I flew John Cheese down to Austin. And you ever, you ever have that moment where it's like you've never never met a person, but the second you get within three feet of each other. You know that you've always known each other. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, no, totally. Uh, that was definitely the case. There we go. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's uh, John Cheese uh, uh, on the set of The Modern Rogue. Uh, came down for three days. Um, we talked a bit. I didn't mean to get this heavy, but I guess we will. Um, I feel like the modern rogue is a good enough idea that it could be bigger than me and Jason just farting around with experiments in, in a garage. Uh, I feel like the modern rogue is an aspirational thing. This idea of, of, of Houdini, uh, uh, MacGyver and, and James Bond having a baby and, and, you know, all of us wanting to be that perfect modern rogue idea could be bigger. Uh, likewise, I, have been reading crack.com for like eight years. And I noticed that 
there's a very different presence from the video content versus the written content. And oftentimes I would see a headline that I would click on and the moment I saw it, it w was a, a video content. I would turn it off and I was like, okay, if it's written content, I can convince myself that I'm not really farting around during work hours. But the moment yeah. I look at video content, I know for sure that I'm farting around. Uh, and so the idea is, is, I always felt like the Monterey could grow to that capability, but uh, I always thought it would be like a three or four years or five years off thing. And then all of a sudden they laid off everyone from crack.com and I've been a fan of all their stuff and they're the model from what I'm, what I'm trying to do. And this, this lifestyle brand that I'm trying to create. So I reached out and started chatting with John cheese and uh, flew him down. And, and we, we, uh, connected immediately we got off like uh got on like gangbusters i don't know uh, uh, like bandits got off like I'm, bandits. I'm trying to figure out some version that just sound like the two of us are jerking <laughs> off uh the, the uh um got on famously we got along famously thank you yeah yeah you uh you ja you, you, you jacked each other off <laughs> we no I, I think i think that's the thing he doesn't no, he doesn't want. Okay, I think so he, he uh, you can you try? Can you take a second? You, uh, yeah, grabbed each other's dicks and mm. just like okay. shook them side to side. To completion? No, <laughs> no. I, if it's to completion, that doesn't count. That's not what okay, he wants. Okay, yeah. Wants. So uh, you, uh, you, uh, you, you found worth in each other. <laughs> ah, okay. By having it spit out of each other's dicks because you you furiously were masturbating them. I have a note on that. Okay, I do have a okay. note on that. Would, I don't would like, that be a good saying? I don't like furiously. It's a little too angry. Yeah, it's a little yeah. too energy. Too high. You, uh, you, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, you, you, you went out to lunch, and maybe you went Dutch. <laughs> Rudder. Oh. <laughs> almost. Real close on that one. I feel like we almost would that had be, Yeah, <laughs> so that would be a, yeah. a, another way to say it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you good? John Cheese. So anyway, is... a few wet wipes later, we decided that it was time to go into business. John Cheese is the editor-in-chief of The Modern Rogue. We're going to launch uh, on Friday. Uh, man, I'm super excited about this. Totally, totally excited. I'm, I'm a can fan give, of this. Can you give people a, a little, uh, little, little, little prev? A little preview? <laughs> uh, prev? Uh, oh, 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 you want me to read... What he, what he wrote? Don't this is the one thing, no, he didn't no, give the one thing Brian didn't, didn't want to do. Just <laughs> wet, wet their whistle, you know? Uh, no, I think that's uh, just tune in Friday. How about that? Because yeah. I, 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 I know that he's... How about, it, how about follow the social media accounts? How about follow... Uh, uh, Bryce, what are, what are the socials again? At Modern Rogue Show on Twitter, Modern Rogue Show, or Modern Rogue. The Modern Rogue? What are we on YouTube? YouTube.com slash ModernRogue.com is the website. Yeah. Modern Rogue Show is the Twitter account. It's and uh, YouTube.com slash Modern Rogue if you're not already watching. Yeah, correct. And Instagram. Uh, but but everybody's happy. You're happy with with, uh, with everything as it's, as it's rolling happy. out? Good? No, no, no. I, I, um, in the early flirtation, it's like you deeply hope that you are connecting on the same level as another person. And then he uh, sends over the the first article that he plans to release this Friday. And, uh, and you're like, yes, 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 yes. This, this so much, this, like, I'm really, really hoping to build the modern road brand. And I think, uh, John cheese is, um, uh, I, I get Matt Max's real name. His pen name is John cheese. Uh, yeah. but, uh, I, uh, I am cautiously very optimistic. It doesn't hurt that his announcement got 150 retweets that tells me that he has a very, powerfully dedicated fan base behind him and uh i i i i think we're in a great space i, I don't know we'll see how it goes i tell you what i think everybody should bookmark the modern rogue.com make sure you follow all those socials because certainly day one how many shares and stuff like that that it gets uh means the world especially if uh the content is great well i'll tell you what folks if you want to support this show, you can go ahead and do so at patreon.com slash night attack. Again, patreon.com slash night attack is where you can support the show. We had a hell of a pre-show uh, earlier today, and you can make sure that you get that and the after show in one RSS feed earlier than anybody if you are a patron to this program. We do a, we do a lot of content for you. We, we hope that you stretch that dollar 
as far as you possibly can because you're trying to catch all the content we're giving to you. And and, and you can't because this dollar is starting to stretch to cartoon comical lengths. But you want to know what, Brian? Whenever you become a new patron to this show, whenever you adjust your patronage upward, well, folks, we get a chance to shout you out in a little segment we like to call the... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour of... Oh, man, we have a brand new contributor at $1 per episode, and we could not be more excited. I'm not going to say that it's the lead singer of Incubus, because that would be factually inaccurate. Uh, but I will say that his first name sounds awfully similar to it, and I would like to imagine he's in the middle of also. In fact, Justin, come with yeah. me on a flight of fancy. I would like to believe that uh, this person, uh -huh. that this person is the lead singer in an Incubus tribute band. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, and uh, and he he's he's working on his core, you know, to get those those Boyd abs. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, but this person he's got, he's got he's got the big old gauge spacers in, right? Yeah. You okay. know, in his in his ear. Could be, could be. Uh, but this person is not Brandon Boyd. It's Brendan, Brendan Thorpe. Brendan Thorpe. <laughs> Wherever you, Brendan Thorpe, you're paying to our Patreon, yeah. Ringo, 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 ringo. Brendan Thorpe, 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 Thank you, Brandon Thank you. Thorpe. Thank you. Uh, and then, of course, right here as we uh, live stream on Twitch.tv slash Night Attack, we open up the uh, the ability for us to uh, thank you, W. Scott of Swan. Thank you. Uh, uh, to go ahead and uh, go, go full cam girl here. Thank you, Trovac. I, uh, I have an important story I have to tell. Go ahead. I only go have 50 ahead, seconds. Brian. Thank you, Curtis LaRock. You're so cute. Go ahead, Brian. Okay, so I was I was driving my Jeep, and I, mm -hmm. I ran out of yeah. gas. Thank you, Sunbon. You're so cute. Go ahead. So I, I pulled over. You, you you know that Cedar Valley grocery across sure, the way. Sure, yeah, of course. Thank yeah, you, yeah. Thank you, Funkarius. So cute. So I, I, I pull in to refill the car. Thank you, MacBook Pro 17. And and so I, I start refilling the thing, but I see there's a Girl Scout. Thank you, Benito Bum Crash. And yeah, so yeah. Uh, no, 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 Girl Scout, Girl Scout. Yeah, I'm, Girl I'm Scout. trying to figure out like what is the classiest. Yeah. Thank you, Blue way Front. Thanks, Blue Front. I'm trying to think what is the classiest way to to, to, classiest. to yeah. really fast get past. Thank you, Cattle Humper, humping that cow. Yeah, <laughs> so cute. Go ahead, Brian. Five seconds, Brian. Come on, come on. So so Thank so you, I go. Thank you, Sunderland and Boswell. Two I, for one. So I go. Cute. I go Double running past. Beep. Thank you, Agent Sign. Bitcoin. Thank you, all, Alex Fire. So wait, what happened with the, right, with the Girl Scouts? Uh, this story's over. What did I, you do? I, okay, so I mean, true story. I, I ran past. Did you stream like, what? Go to my website Friday, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> did you do that? I'm like, something amazing will be at themodernrogue.com. You should be reading it. It's awesome. Uh, no, no, I went running past and then uh, uh, I, I, I bought beef jerky or whatever. But on my way back out, like I intentionally ran in to look busy to avoid the gaze of these Girl Scouts. Yeah. <laughs> And then on my way back out, I go running out and I hear the girls go, hey, hey, hey. And I, and I think to myself, fuck, fuck, it didn't work. It didn't work. And yeah. then I turn around and I look at the at the girls and they're like, we like your Jeep. Oh. And I just turn around and I was like, thanks, I guess. We like your Jeep. Wait, huh? So you didn't buy cookies? No, fuck that. No. Uh, those cookies have uh, peanuts in them or some shit. Hmm. So, wait, is that real or is that just some shit you tell yourself? <sighs> it's shit I tell myself because, all right, Bonnie's not here. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Fucking. Let it in. Let it out. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah, bring it in all right. and let it out. 
Go right. ahead. Bring oh. the noise. <laughs> bring the noise. Bring the funk. Bring the noise. <laughs> Bonnie's gonna be like legit pissed if I if, if she finds out about this. But like, all right, and nobody tell Bonnie. Go ahead. The worst Bonnie was ever treated as a human being was yep. by one of the other den mothers of Girl Scouts. This like, is this is uh, when when one of the girls presumably was in. Girl Scouts, or is it Girl Scouts? Yes, Scout? yes. One of the girls was in Girl Scouts, and Bonnie really invested her heart and soul into making the best experience possible for the it's kids. It's a formative time. It's it was, a, it's a, yeah, yeah. Somebody was a real shit bag mm. to my wife, and if I could, really? I would punch those cookies. Oh, uh, you could. So punch you would like maybe too. maybe you would get one of those cookies and throw it up in the air. And then do like a front kick for the like kick the cookies out of the air into the parking lot, and yeah. then like look at those little girls and be like, that <laughs> one's for whoever fuck with Bonnie. Yeah. I, give, I, give one of the Girl Scouts your phone so they can take a photo for the gram. I, yeah, punch- just be like, yeah, yeah, hey, do me a favor. Uh, it's on my Instagram. Uh, uh, just go ahead and hit record, and then you do like a full front kick, right? Like you know, just as high as you can, and kicking then I, those. I, I, you're kicking those thin mints right out of the air, and, and, and then you point right in the camera and go, "That's for you, Gertrude." And it's a collage, right? So the other photo is like you scrubbing your foot so you don't get the contaminants in the house. <laughs> yeah, I would like to believe that. Yes, I would. I would high kick uh, in midair the, yeah. the 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 cookie, but then yeah. I rather than making this a negative thing, I'd like to make it a positive thing where it's like, "That's me, the Graham Cracker." No. Graham no, Cracker's I think you should great. talk shit about Gertrude. I feel like like that was that was a better way to go is just to make it a real aggressive thing where you're you're just shoving it right in there. Don't tell. I'm serious, guys. Don't don't tell Bonnie. She'll be really. Well, I mean, really what upset. would they tell her that you ran by some Girl Scouts? <laughs> would, did, it, would be she be upset because I'm more you worried didn't about you guys saying Brian was on Night Attack talking about how you had your feelings deeply hurt by somebody who I was. See obscenely crass and selfish and petty affiliated with the Girl Scouts. I see. I yeah. See, I see. That, that's the part that let's just keep that We're between cool. you, me, and the other guy. We're all cool. Yeah, okay. done. Done. Totally cool. But also, what's her first and last name? The lady that, like, <laughs> talks to her. Up- I believe it's Graham Cracker. That's her name. Ah, Graham, Graham Cracker, Cracker is a real C word, let me tell you. And the C stands for Cracker, her last name. Uh, uh, hey Bryce, do we have a game? Hey, we do. Uh, so this is uh, a sort of a hybrid of a couple of ideas. So I want to give a little bit of shout outs at the top. Uh, Peter J, first off, Peter J for giving us kind of the seed inspiration for this game. Also, Big Jim um, and uh, Dr. RB, uh, Curtis, and all the people in the Discord, nanotech.tv slash Discord. We kind of workshopped it a little bit today. Uh, including the title. So, gentlemen, get ready to play Out of Touch or Out of Cards. (laughs) By the way, Justin. (laughs) Justin, did did you see the the teaser tweets for this? Uh, No, I did not. Uh, uh, Can you bring up the the teaser tweet? Like, I looked at it. On at Night Attack Show on Twitter, yeah. By the way, if you're not following at Night Attack Show on Twitter, you're a terrible person. But but can you You miss all of our great mic tweets? Read read the text of what you wrote. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, Tonight, do the boys know their stone or are they out of touch? If you can go for that, put our kiss on your list. Private Eyes, Malfurion. It's a new (laughs) new live night attack. And then when you look at the actual picture, there's a picture of of Bryce as a as a Chinese uh, or a a Japanese Japanese host. host. Japanese Uh, host. Uh, There's you as the Pope and me as your your cardinal. Uh, There's there's uh, it's all over the map. And and, like I saw this and I retweeted it with only the words uh oh. But as best I could tell, this is the fusion of Hearth and Oats. Yeah, I think this is a, a fun competition between Hearth and Oats. And we're going to find out if you guys are going to be able to tell the difference between the name of a Hall and Oats song or the name of a Hearthstone card. 
Okay. And this is this bat. is like, against each other. You're going to be playing against each other. Okay. All right. Uh, you'll all take right. Turns all right. Submitting your answers first. How do you? How, just before we we get started, how are you feeling? You guys play a lot of Hearthstone. I mean, but you also make a lot of Hollow Notes jokes. Justin is better and more versed in Hearthstone than I am. However, I am older than Justin is, which I feel like bequeaths upon me a superior knowledge of Hollow Notes trivia. I, I'm not going to lie. I probably am only the greatest hits album deep. On on uh, 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 Hearth and Oats or yeah on on Hall and Oats songs so yeah. uh, uh, I would I would really be I, I don't know I'm so confident though I feel like I'm 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 pretty confident on this one all right all right all right well let's uh, we'll we'll just start off with our uh, with our first round here uh, we're gonna start with Brian on this one is Alley Cat the name of a Hall and Oats song or a Hearthstone card. That is definitely a Hearthstone card because it's a super adorable little cat and I believe it's a 1-1 one, one, and it spawns another one. Question Justin? mark. Uh, uh, no, yeah, it spawns another 1-1. One, one. Hunter class card. Alley cat. Gentlemen, you're correct. Alley yeah! Here's a card. It's a very cute. It's very adorable. It is. Yeah. Now, oh, no, the... look at him. Look at him. Oh. And he gets a little friend immediately. Yeah, do you guys you guys strong in the alley? How how is Alley Cat on the on the meta? Uh, it's actually really good. Yeah, uh, as far as like an aggress, it's 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 a very aggro uh, maneuver. So uh, mm-hmm. it's it's one of the one draws that you would keep if you're doing an aggro hunter deck. Okay, well, it's a little little tip for you as we go into our next round of out of touch, out of cards. <laughs> Where did you get that MIDI music? Just on the internet, you just Google <laughs> private eyes MIDI. Yeah, it comes say up. the internet, man. Like <laughs> it's like That's so good. It was the rest of the internet? There was MIDI covers of Hollow Notes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the third thing the internet made. It was like <laughs> text files, pornography, and then MIDI covers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two. We're gonna start with Justin on this one. Is this a Hearthstone card or a Hollow Notes song? Intuition. Intuition. I believe that this. Oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you realize it's not just a good question; it, it's a good game. Yeah. Uh, I believe that intuition is a hollow note song. Brian, intuition is almost certainly a card. Yeah, but the fact that I can't remember which one is problematic, so it makes me feel like I should say it's a Hollow Notes song. Final answer? Yeah. Gentlemen, you both answered Hollow Notes. The correct answer is. There was more, so I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna be going down with me, going up the street. It's a good song. Ah. Well, this episode never be played on YouTube. <laughs> I went through. I went through and did all the homework on this. We should be good. Oh really? Oh shit! Oh my god! All right. Well, I, I, I won't try to talk uh, over these then. T- uh, time out. Like like like. Yeah. How how does one do their homework to find out what is the YouTube engines? Uh, sensitive to so mm, the about 99 percent of the cases are found in youtube's music policies which are a searchable database of everything that youtube recognizes so you can just type in hollow notes and it shows you hey ranked by popularity and it'll tell you hey you can monetize this and it's available in these countries or not so oh right on yeah okay great so they give you the answers in advance yeah m- most of the time i think the stuff that it doesn't include th- there are some cases where it doesn't include stuff and that stuff can often be the trickiest stuff uh, but you can find you can find some good information there. Just look up YouTube music policies. All right, right um, round three of out of touch or out of cards. <laughs> Never gets old. It's good. Brian, we're gonna start with you. Yep. Tell me about Fallen Hero. Oh, if this was a card. I would imagine that it was a bearded man rising up from the grave towards the ethereal presence of a superior being. But it's not. It's definitely a Hollow Notes song. In which case, it's about a 
teacher who uh, who disappoints a student by making love with another student. Sounds like a Hall and Oates song. The classic Hall and Oates uh, uh, upsetting a student by true. having sex it's with It's not true. It's a Hearthstone card. Uh, Are you locket. sure? Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah. Also, I'd like to change my answer <laughs> no, to no, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Justin is correct. Fallen Hero is a two cost three two card. It's a Damn mage it. class card. Damn it! <laughs> from the grand tournament. That's three to Justin, two to Brian. Bryce, this is a great game. This is a great game. Was this your idea? No, this is a. Uh, this was. Oh, uh, uh, Peter. Peter. Oh. J- Peter Jansen helped along with uh, uh, a bunch of people in the Discord. Number four, round four of. Although I do like the idea, just to just to fill it out a little bit, we should have to describe what the card is <laughs> and what the song is. I, I agree. Okay, I agree. I gotcha. All right. Well, uh, we're going into our fourth round of out of touch or out of cards. <laughs> Room to breathe. Justin. Justin, we're starting with you. Room uh, to breathe. Room to breathe. Well, you know, uh, I would imagine that room to breathe as a Hearthstone card <laughs> would be uh, uh, a uh, uh, one of those uh, 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 clearing spells where where uh, you would get like maybe you would have to target one minion, but the other two would be the ones affected. So it'd be like room to breathe. But I think so like an AOE, yeah. that it's a Hall and Oates song. Uh, uh, about a suffocating relationship because uh, uh, this 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 woman don't get me no more. Mm. Uh, Justin, you're having difficulty because you forgot the term free- freeze. What happens is in Room to Breathe, you freeze a minion. Also, it freezes the two minions next to it. Also, ah. none of that's true. It's definitely a Hall & Oates song about exactly what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, gentlemen, you are correct. Room to breathe. Great. Wait a minute. Hold on. Go back to that album cover. Were they just like deliberately trying to rip off the fucking Boston spaceship and make <laughs> the track lighting? <laughs> and he even says bigger than both of us as if to say that, yes, we know that Boston is bigger than both of us. <laughs> Also, we're Daryl Hall and John Oates. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who, like, who, who, who thought that that one was going to fly by? Like, we know what you're doing, Hall and Oates. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're so old. Justin, you and I are so old, and we're on the internet. You're goddamn right, Brian. <laughs> All right, round five. <laughs> One on one. Bri- uh, Brian, we're starting with you. All right. One on one. One on one? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I've seen this. This is the card that uh, it was part of the um, uh, same expansion that had Just Car in it, where it was like um, uh, the, uh, the Joust dynamic. It's one on one. It's like. Oh, the Grand Tournament? Uh, yes, correct. The, yeah. 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 If. Yeah. if this uh, uh, both players draw a card. Whoever's card is bigger uh, is awesome. <laughs> also, this is definitely just a a hollow note song. <laughs> Justin, uh, well, you know, it could be there is, and I, I don't remember the name, so it could be one on one that card that singles out the top statted minions on either side, mm. and and makes it a one on one battle oh it clears all the other two. minions so it just eliminate it basically uh, it, it's like a clearing spell that's sort of like brawl because, but with each but side brawl, yeah brawl except it's not random so yeah it's a little cheaper so you but you have to keep their most dangerous minion right on so the each side goes down to one minion to one-on-one however yeah. i do believe that it is about uh, uh it, that it is a hollow note song uh because this woman <laughs> does get what i'm saying <laughs> Gentlemen, your answer is. Oh fuck, John Oates! John Oates just hanging around in the background. They should play this during Hearthstone. <laughs> 
We've got we to should... do Hollow Notes cosplay at Dragon Con one year. Like, yeah, it's too much can we uncanny. please? Can we please? It's too fucking uncanny. But you have and to it... do you have to do that silver album one where they're dressed dressed up like drag queens. I mean, with the, the heavy makeup let's, and stuff. Let's show up as Holland Oats, but okay. then hand out cards constantly, and on the back of the card says Hearth and Oats, uh, uh, like 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 business cards. <laughs> sure. No, no, no. We no. We just have to do that album, the the, the greatest hits album cover that, that like people have like swapped our faces out mm-hmm. before. Sure, we'll sure. A, a white box, and whenever anybody wants a picture, we'll just make the faces. Done. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, time for round six. Of out of touch or out of cards. <laughs> Should get old, but it's not happening. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round six. Winged bull. Winged bull. Justin, you're going to start. <sighs> wow. Winged bull. You know, uh, so this, this could be a beast, like a hunter beast uh winged bull you would think maybe it's a uh, a, a charge minion so uh, maybe maybe a, a fairly well statted uh a charge minion that doesn't see a lot of play with hunter because hunter in general usually goes with either really sticky minions or really cheap minions for because aggro is probably the bigger style there however i believe that winged bull is a hall and Oates song about a woman who just ain't loving me right <laughs> Brian, I'm actually fairly unsure either side, but I do know that if there's a chance for me to even even the score, I have to disagree with Justin. So I'm going to say Winged Bull is a Hearthstone card and not a Hollow Note song. I see. Gentlemen, Winged Bull is... Beauty on the back street. All the notes. First of all, is this song like a low budget version of uh of, of that Led Zeppelin song? Uh <laughs> Yeah, by the way, Hall & Oates had fucking range. Like, that's really what we're learning here. It's like, Hall & Oates certainly known for their easy listening hits, but they they were like, like fucking Spinal Tap in that, like, Yeah, right? I mean, it or- sounds like, like, da 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 Oh, Cashmere, yeah. Cashmere, that, that's what I'm thinking of. Play, cash, play Cashmere and compare that shit. Tell me this shit. And also, who made Cashmere first? Uh, Hall & Oates or Led Zeppelin? Cause I'm pretty oh, can sure. we like nail Led Zeppelin that they ripped fucking Hall and Oates? Listen to this shit, right? Yeah, that sounds a lot like it. Okay, now, totally. All right, hey, gentlemen, I understood that uh, Cashmere sold a billion copies. However, listen to the new hotness. It's from my friends Hall and Oates, and it sounds <laughs> like... It sounds a lot like this song. I lost it. <laughs> It is uh, a hollow notes. Winged bull. Oh, the time yeah. code was off. Yeah, Sorry. it's fine. It's fine. All right. Uh, all right. Winged bull. Oh yeah. Hollow notes. There we go. All right. Six all right. To let's four. go. Six to four for Justin. We need some. We need some turnabout around here. Let's start with Brian on this one in this round of out of touch. Or out of cause. By the way, Winged Bull came out in 1977. Cashmere came out in 1975. So, Hollow Notes did their track lighting version of, uh, of Cashmere. We're on to you, Hollow Notes, Hall and or Oats, or your producer. Uh, Hollow Notes is Bryce. We're on to you. <laughs> I think they wrote their own music, gentlemen. All right. Brian, we're starting with you. Yeah. Crime pays. <laughs> God damn it. This is a great game. <laughs> you did really good with this game. I'll say you're an asshole. Um, Crime pays. If this was a Hearthstone card, it would have been called Grime pays. Or some kind of mind numbing pun. So I'm going to say that Crime pays is a. Hearth 
uh, hard notes, uh, whatever. Hard, hard notes? Hard yes. notes. Hard the, notes. The very hard notes. Holland notes. Holland notes. Yeah. Okay. Justin? Well, what, what, what's it about? What, 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 no, what's Crime Pays what about? Crime, crime Pays is about a, 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 a bank job gone wrong, about how they were halfway through and his love for another woman caused him to put the money back and they knew it was marked money and they knew they would oh. all go down for it, but he said no. Um, crime Pays. Yeah, so, so it, like, it, it, it's one of those like story songs. It's not like a metaphor yeah. about like okay. robbing a bank or yes. anything. So it, it begins like this: like, um, you and me, we're gonna rob a bank, and then you know the next verse. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this job we have, I kind of think it stinks. <laughs> right, and then the other guy said. So we'll be rich, and you'll be able to tell that bitch <laughs> that we're rich. <laughs> and that's a <the> song. <laughs> oh, it's a short one. Oh, so that yeah. one was that was a little that was a little more metaphorical <laughs> it's than very, you think. <laughs> it's a very very short Hall and Oates yeah. song. <laughs> Classic Hall and Oates with their very short, <laughs> under one minute songs. <laughs> The real the creators uh, of music comedy, Holland Oates. <laughs> exactly. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. But that's I mean, of course they have their harmonies and everything in there. So there's like some instrumentation, but like yeah, it's under a minute. And it's a literal song about robbing a bank. <laughs> Justin, what do you think crime pays is? Oh, that's a hearthstone card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> crime pays is Oh! From H2O, it's Crime Pays. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much the song we sang, right? <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> All right, it is five to six. <laughs> Red Aiku in the chat says, so I guess Cogswell gets an easy week. <laughs> This is not Billy Joel again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're starting up round eight of Out of Touch or Out of Cards. Oh, oh, my God. And we're starting with Justin. Justin, tell me about the darkness. Oh, the darkness. Well, you know, uh, uh, I, my my first instinct is that it's a a a Hall and Oates song about a, a a woman who stopped loving him, right? Um, but I, I'm I'm kind of gonna go ahead and say I think this is a Hearthstone card. What what does the card do? I believe that the darkness is a. I think this is a, a clearing spell. I think that this might be the warlock one where it, it, uh, uh, like uh, you have to like sequence it out. So you have to make sure that there's minions that are like five, four, three, two, one, and it'll take everything out. Like it keeps popping the board for each one. I see. Brian, the darkness. Uh, the darkness. Um, yes, this is a level, or, or sorry, um, an eight mana card. If you have a demon in your hand, kill each each player for the demon that's in your hand. So if you have five demons, it'll kill five other players. Or it's a song about not getting laid, which is why I think it's a Hollow Notes song. Oh, 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 oh. oh. and it's about not getting laid. <laughs> right, gentlemen, the darkness is. Mind if I roll need a Hearthstone ah, card. There we go. Ah, Four cost that 20, was defile, 20. but I knew it was a card. Legendary from Kobolds and Catacombs. Starts dormant. Battle cry shuffle three candles into the enemy deck. When drawn, this awakens. Mm -hmm. So you have to leave it out on the on the playing field. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> use this on a solo run. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> sad that I didn't recognize it. That's awful. I'm a bad player. <laughs> at this game, but maybe not at Hearthstone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go to our penultimate round of Out of Touch or Out of Cards. 
Jones. Gentlemen. Yeah. Let's start with Brian. Yeah. Crazy Eyes. Could you spell the word <laughs> crazy eyes? <laughs> well, it's two words. C-R-A-Z-Y. E-Y-E-S. Heron. Heron. Herring. Heroin. Hairline. <laughs> Hero. <laughs> crazy eyes. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Well, think it through. Think it through. What what kind of card would it be? What kind yeah. of song would it be? Okay, so I, I'm 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 evaluating. If it's a song, it's suspiciously close to private eyes, and I would like to think, like like I would imagine uh, Daryl Hall in his hotel room after a, a gig, and he's like, "Private eyes, man, I really fucked it up. It should be." Uh, sorry, what's the name? Crazy Eyes. Uh, it should be Crazy Eyes. <laughs> Some crazy ass eyes. Like, like if I had it to do over again, it would be Crazy Eyes. I'm watching you. Oh, no, <laughs> I no, see no, your no, every you, move. You, you, you don't think that they'd be like walking in the studio and, and be like, "Oh, I got a great new song." It's like, "Oh, awesome! You guys are coming off a big string of hits, man. Private Eyes is lighting up the charts. What do you got?" And he's like, "Crazy <laughs> Eyes. They're kind of cuckoo." They're swinging around my head. Oh, yeah, crazy eyes. Where they looking? I don't know. They're cuckoo, yeah, cuckoo, yeah. No, is that close to? No, man, I think it's. Wait, you think it's close to what? Like, man eater? Like, no, I think it's, I think it's close to, I think it's close to, to private eyes. Oh, shit, really? Is that guess, our guess, song? Yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think you're right. I think it is a little bit close it to was, it. I would think it was, it was more like I was biting rich girl, but like, I mean, I guess, <laughs> I mean, if you think it sounds like private eyes. Crazy eyes as a Hearthstone card, though. <laughs> They've gone cuckoo. Crazy eyes would be. Um, <laughs> it, it, it would be a uh, druid card and it would say Malfurion attacks everyone <laughs> and so but I'm going to go with a uh, hollow notes song you go with hollow notes Justin you got a lead here I do and you want to know what I'm going to I'm going to get I'm going to get uh, reckless here and I'm going to say that it's a, a, a hearthstone card What's what uh what is what is the effect on this card? I think crazy eyes, uh, crazy is probably something from uh, 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 Mean Streets of Gadget Sand, and uh, uh, it's probably a, a card that uh, you know, it's uh, it comes out and he's just it just its eyes go sideways and go like, hey, look at me, like doesn't really have any stats. <laughs> it's of no value to the game. It just kind of <laughs> goes cuckoo back and forth. Yeah, the, the the flavor text says, when drawn, play audio clip. Hey, it's me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 crazy eyes file dot WAV. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Crazy eyes is... From bigger than both of us, Daryl Hall. AKA Donuts. the Boston album. <laughs> AKA we definitely got paid by Ritz for this album cover. <laughs> <laughs> the prominent outward facing box. All right, we are now at seven. Justin has seven. Two Brian's one, two, three, four, five, six. Luckily, this last one's worth how many points? Worth three points. Th oh, three shit. billion points. I'm All right, excited. Here we, go. here we go. It is our final round of Out of Touch or Out of Call. <laughs> they get the little twang on it. <laughs> oh, my God. That should be my... I should see if I can get that as a ringtone. <laughs> That is pretty good. By the way, you know that Bonnie's uh, Bonnie rarely sets specific ringtones, but for whatever reason, even though she's never seen the episode, she set my ringtone to uh, uh, screaming, "I'm Pickle Rick," and so 
<laughs> and so as a result, every time, like, like I'll call her, you know, over serious shit, and she'll answer the phone laughing, and then I'll always hear another female voice laughing in the background. Just because, because she because, heard like, like, Big Lori! Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, that. that's when I'm breaking up in the moment. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Gentlemen, your final... Your final card is Go Solo. We're going to start with Justin. Go Solo. Well, I got to get this one right because I know Game Theory Brushwood is, is going to pick whatever I don't, no matter GTB. what. So. GTB. MF. GTB, MF. C A M, come at me. Come at me. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna think. Ah, man, if it were a Hearthstone card, I believe that Go Solo. I mean, it feels like number one. A. It feels like all of these are clearing spells. <laughs> every Hearth and Oats <laughs> or every every Hall and Oats song. Is in some way a clearance spell. Like that, that, that is that is a a specific to their song traits. They are all elimination defensive spells. Uh, so I would think that Go Solo would be something that would either overstat a minion or eliminate all other minions. Or maybe you or, play it and it just the the card text says anyway. See you later. <laughs> all right, could be that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, but I think that this is, uh, this is, this is, this is a, a, a Hall and Oates song. This is a Hall and Oates song. Right. And I think it's about a woman who's stopped loving him, right? <laughs> All right. What's the name again? Go Solo. I don't want to shock everyone who's here live and listening after the fact, but I may have spent more time playing Hearthstone than I have listening to Hollow Note songs. Okay. Yeah. And I know for sure I've never seen a Hearthstone card called Go Solo. Go Solo. Right. So if I were to guess what the Hollow Note song would be, mm-hmm. And by the way, what 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 was your guess, Justin? Oh, about a woman who stopped loving him right. Stopped loving him right. Stop loving him right. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the win by saying not only is it a Hollow Notes song, okay, but I picked Hollow Notes song. He did pick Hollow Notes song. I know, but but I'm gonna get closer to what it actually is because I'm gonna guess you don't actually know what it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I guess we're we're, we're we're entering a new wrinkle into the game. So that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm just talking about like for 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 like personal points here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Are you gonna have to start singing what you think Go Solo is? <laughs> you know what? Maybe if you that's... want bonus points, I need to hear a couple of bars that Go Solo. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right, you tell me how close I get here. Uh, I'll... <laughs> um. Uh, um, you got this. And go. You think you're better than me, but you're not. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm going it solo. You think you're totally hot, but guess what? You're not. Because guess what? I'm going totally solo. You may think that you've got a lightsaber, but your hand's chopped off. And what does that mean? It means it's time for me to go. Go which way? That's right. Going solo. Interesting. <laughs> Justin, do you want right, to submit right. a counter? <laughs> do you want, would you like to try to be closer to going solo? <laughs> to going solo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 I would, I would say uh, going solo. I mean, I know that this one, like the back of my hand. You know, this is uh, you the know, they, they, they played, it, played it at my wedding. Uh, uh, going, going solo. It was an odd pick for a wedding, but you know, <laughs> joining a two people. But I think it was, it was. Uh, um, uh, uh, 
found your notes and now I'm gonna be going a solo. You are a Nazi and I found your weird Hitler fan fiction. I'm a going solo. Your views are repugnant. I'm going solo today. Going solo. Wow. That's wow. A, that was a daring. That was a daring, bold maneuver, sir. I mean, that was like that at your again, wedding. You, you know, you know, uh, you know the songs that you hear in your youth. <laughs> was that was that was that in the reception just, or the wedding? It does just kind of stick with you for a while. Yeah, I yeah, know. That was that was uh, my first dance with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Classic wedding song. All right, gentlemen, let's listen to a little bit of the real go solo. Oh. 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 Actually, not more. <laughs> uh, I think I think we're all winners in. <laughs> In out of touch or out of cards. <laughs> oh, <God damn. laughs> Mash up. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Uh, thank you, everybody who helped workshop this. Congratulations. This sort Justin. of this apparently really easy idea. <laughs> Part of me today was like, I mean, I know they play a lot of Hearthstone. But maybe they also. But maybe there's enough doubt. Maybe they're like, there's a deck I haven't played. <laughs> no, I, I was not sure on because I, mean, I didn't know any of the or, like or most of Hall and Oates songs. Like there was definitely a lot of like, uh, uh, oh man, is this like an arena only card? Or I, like I, I, from, I would like, say that there was maybe two of that entire list that, that I like definitely knew oh, one okay, way or yeah. the other. Uh, no, this was a really, really good game. Awesome. That was good. Yeah, no, we wound up getting oh. more right, but it was it was uh, uh, not because the game was easy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> awesome. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, submitted this, including Peter J, who submitted the nugget for this idea, as well as Dr. RB. Uh, Big Jim, everybody in the Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. If you want to work, shop ideas, if you've got something you want to send in and you want to get some free stickers, email your game idea with a doc. Usually a doc helps uh, to mail at nightattack.tv. Oh, hot damn. Uh, absolutely. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you want to shout out your project right here on this show, then head on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. That is where you can get your little shout out on in for diamond time. It's a sticky old green post at the top of the Reddit where uh, we read the top three. By the way, as of right now, there are only two in there. So if you want to get something quick in, go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and get started with Sign, a.k.a. Brian's Black Son. Hey, y'all, it's Sign. It's everyone's favorite black person. Wait, jeez. Jesus wait a, Christ. Just double, no, go, double. Go on, you're, do, you're doing great. Uh, how, how great favorite... is he? <sighs> Everyone's favorite black person. Give me, wanting to give a big thanks to everybody who sent their well wishes to my spouse over the weekend as I rambled incoherently late at night in the Discord from the hospital. Oh, this keeps getting better. Uh, we are home now and watching live. They're doing a lot better. They're they're out of the hospital now. They're doing a lot better. There's a good there's a good end of that. This is not a GoFundMe. Oh my God! I'm sorry. Keep going. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, son. I want to also point out that whenever there's anything serious, please put the serious tag in front of stuff so we don't oh go like her hurricane and jerking and farting and, you know, like armpit farting into like, <laughs> anyway, thanks for keeping me company in the hospital while my wife was there. Uh, all right. So, okay. So now I'm going to shill from the bottom of my wallet. The fake coin organization is looking for a video that describes FAK, which is pronounced fuck. For the official fake coin website, we decided it would be awesome to reach out to the Diamond Club community and have a contest. The winner will have their video featured on the website and win 10,000 fuck. Please try to make it look professional, but slide as many hidden Diamond Club Easter eggs in as possible. Post your YouTube videos in the thread uh, contest. Make a video, get fucked, either on the fake coin subreddit or the cross post in the Diamond Club subreddit. Winners will be determined by the number of upvotes on 2518. That is February 5th, 2018. Have fun. Make it funny. Who knows? You might be the one to get fucked up. Uh, next up from this AHD life, we ADHD. got. ADHD. 
Mm-hmm. What? This ADHD life. This ADHD. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Good. Good call. Uh, hello, Diamond Club. This is your favorite IT guy, term productivity coach. This is ADHD Life, or Keith for short. Almost three years ago, I was diagnosed with ADHD and embarked on a journey to understand as much as I can about the condition and to help my fellow ADHDers. In addition to my private uh, coaching practice, I volunteer my time with the Attention Deficit Disorder Association, write, record various tips, tricks, etc. <clears throat> And try to spread the word about the reality of ADHD and how common it can be. Struggling ADHDers can have trouble holding down jobs, good paying, uh, getting good paying jobs, and more likely to wind up in the prison system. This makes it difficult for them to afford coaching that we can provide. This is where you come in. As you may know, it takes patrons to get patrons. If you have a buck a month to spare, I would love uh, so much to uh, appreciate I would love so much. I would so much appreciate your supporting my efforts by throwing that buck at my Patreon. Sorry. <laughs> As my Patreon grows, I'll be able to offer folks coaching at lower than average rates, help them turn ADHD struggle into ADHD strength. Hit us up at patreon.com slash slash this ADHD life slash uh, or Otherwise, yellow420.com slash helping swag. Thank you in advance for the support. And if you ever want to chat, hit me up on the Diamond Core on, on the Discord at uh, thisadhdlife.com. God damn it. ADHD is hard to say when, it when you see it all at once. Uh, and finally, Hair Horror says, give to W. Scott is one on Patreon so I don't have to. Patreon.com slash W. Scott is one. Uh, That's one. Number one. Yeah. Willie is doing a lot of great stuff. He does the game nights twice a week on Twitch, the Diamond Club game nights. Uh, I think he helps out with the movie night. And part of his Patreon is to uh, help us uh, to help fill out DCTVpedia again with some show with longer show notes and stuff. So uh, check him out. He's a good dude. Oh, oh no. uh, yeah. Solid, 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 homie. Uh, again, if you want to shout out your project, go ahead and do it right there on diamondclub.reddit.com or reddit.com slash r slash diamondclub. Man. No movie draft this week. Uh, we, we are officially done, right? Okay, uh, you know what? If we're going to argue with something about movies, maybe we should argue about whether or not you and I should be a team going into the summer. I think traditionally, as long as we've done teams, it's been you and me. But you were talking some smack on last night's Court Killers. Oh, no, 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 no. Because you said it correctly. Traditionally, as long as there's been teams, we've been a team. Yeah. When was the first time that that wasn't the case? Uh, well, this week, this I, this season. When, yeah, I mean during the winter draft. Winter because, normally is well, not. And teams. specifically to subvert expectations was was why we introduced the idea. And I remember, I remember that decision being explained to me. You know, not exactly. <sighs> Uh, 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 you know, a hey, Justin, you want to be fun as if we were on different teams. I remember just being explained, I'm on a team with Tom. So <laughs> if, you'll, if, you'll, if, you'll, if you'll have me, uh, sure. You know, I mean, I, I uh, it's up, it's up to you, uh, big, big boss man. All right, real quick, I need you to get some sound effects, Bryce. Uh, first of all, all right. find some, find some rain. Give me just a little bit of rain. Throw it in the background, okay? I want to, and and also sad music as soon as you're able. That's good. Okay, we got the sad. Uh, and then give me some sad music. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, also coming up will be a doorbell, or some <laughs> knocking sounds. Okay. I mean, that's. I'm just throwing it all out there. Okay, we we got to do this right. Okay. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh good. Okay. Do you, have, do you have knocking? Boy. I mean, we're, we're all happy just with what we got. We're, we're not. I mean, you can just knock, knock on the on the desk. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Justin. It's me. It's Brian. Oh, but Brian, it's so late. <laughs> I know, but I couldn't wait till tomorrow to tell you this. Hold on. Wait, let me close my Twitter app where I'm DMing Brandon Boyd from Incubus. <laughs> All right, I'm, it's closed. <laughs> Justin, I made a terrible mistake. Hold on, wait. Michael Keaton just texted me about some weird Twitter activity. Okay. All right, Mike. I'll see you later. That's me just talking into Siri. All right, go ahead. Justin, it's me, Brian. 
Oh, um, hi, Brian. <laughs> As you know, I like to introduce myself whenever I appear in person, unannounced, at your front doorstep. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, uh well, uh, uh, please continue to stand out in the rain while you uh, go on with your monologue. <laughs> Listen, Justin, a lot of us have ideas and we chase whimsy, and sometimes it takes us to into a dark place in our lives. But the important thing is that we come back to where we belong, as some people would call it. Our home. You're my home, and I belong with you. <laughs> Wait, you live in me? <laughs> Justin, will you join me so that I can come home? That goddamn cat. <laughs> can I? Shut up, cat. Justin. <laughs> Where's that cat coming from? <laughs> Justin. I'm watching Bryce search for this shit random. Like, God damn it. Chase those birds away. Is that, a, is that a gerbil? Those fucking birds. Get out of here. Oh, oh, birds. Oh, yeah. No, look, look, at, look at the birds. Yeah, no. Uh, sorry, Brian. Uh, uh, Michael <laughs> Keaton loves to just be, for me to FaceTime him my birds. Justin, will you please, please be yeah. my partner in the summer movie draft? <laughs> well, Brian, uh, you know, I won the draft in, in the winter with, with, with Brad. I mean, we had a, a pretty good thing going. You you, you kind of cut me like, like, like dead weight. You named your team Team Champions uh, as if to rub it in that you really want to be with a winner this time. Uh, but you want to know what, Brian? Uh, uh, my my feeling for you would be described by the next sound effect that is surely to play. <laughs> and we're going to take it all the way to the bank, buddy. You got me. I got you. We're going to the summer movie draft together, brother. <gasps> you had me at hello. <laughs> and scene. This has been a presentation of Night Attack. <laughs> I'm supposed to have enjoyed this program. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, uh, busy night. What did we learn, Justin? <laughs> but there's always room for another. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Brian, we learned uh, that uh, that of course everybody needs to go follow all of uh, uh, the social media accounts for themodernrogue.com uh, uh, now featuring. Original work by John Cheese as of this Friday. Yeah, that's Modern Rogue Show on Twitter, but mainly uh, get ready this Friday. Uh, what I'm really hoping is that we'll make a bit of a splash. I hope that we surprise and delight you guys this upcoming Friday. And uh, special thanks to uh, John Cheese. Uh, Mac is a fantastic human being. I'm really glad that um, he was able to come down with his lovely wife and that we were able to chat and and, uh, you know, much like this extravaganza, you know, you, you feel a connection, right? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, totally. Yeah. Uh, what uh, else did we learn, Brian? <laughs> uh, also, we learned um, uh, that, 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 that Hearth and Oats is bigger than both Hearth and Oats. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we learned that uh, Brandon Boyd is on Twitter and his DMs are open. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, see you next Tuesday. <laughs> Dying of fire. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>